In this video, I'll be doing a review and test video on this Sabrent hard drive enclosure. It comes with a power adapter, which you must connect to this enclosure to use it. And it comes with a USB cable. I think this is USB A to USB cable. And uh, you could use either a three and a half inch hard drive or a two and a half inch. You could use a three and a half inch hard drive like this. I use a dock uh, docking station enclosure like this to. Uh, so I could back stuff up, you know, instead of having um, everything on the computer, there's some things that I want off the computer, some data, so I use this to back stuff up and put it away in storage, just put the hard drive away and put it somewhere where it's safe, especially valuable data that I have. And I could also use it to... Um, use it as an additional storage or to add additional storage. I also use it to add additional storage and um, on some of them I have two and a half inch SSDs like this and uh, and I'll show you we'll, we'll be doing some tests on it a little bit later and um, I basically have it for that purpose as well and other times it's used to uh, basically back stuff up it's either or so now I'll be um, connecting this to a USB 3 port and connecting it to one of my computers I will be testing it out the power supply you need is a 12 volt DC power adapter, which it comes with. Make sure everything's connected and um, I'll see you next. Okay, so now um, I connected uh, Sabrent hard drive enclosure dock to computer. I turned up and I turned it on basically. I have a hard drive in here as you can see. So what I want to do is I want to test this out to see how it performs. Let's, let's see if uh, let's see what disk info sixty four says about it. Okay, that's the drive. A drive two hundred fifty gigabytes. Let's, Let's try disk mark. Let's test it out. So this um, thing is capable of six gigabits per second. Not gigabytes, but gigabits. One hundred thirty-one point six megabytes per second. One hundred thirty-one. <laughs> Okay, so I got about uh, 134.4 megabytes per second for the read 
And for the right, I got 130 megabytes per second for the for the right for for the right speed. So this is about the average for a hard drive for a SATA three hard drive. So now I'm going to connect a 2.5 inch SSD and we'll see what we get for the performance on that. Do is uh, see if I ejected the drive. I think it's this one, Micron, J Micron. That's the controller that it uses. So since I ejected it, I could turn it off and put in the new two and a half inch SSD. Okay, so I connected the two and a half inch system. Now it's detected. It's H drive. This is the SSD. So we'll be testing that out next. Okay, this is the SHG Linux 500 gigabytes SSD. I had a lot of these laying around that I bought previously, but I'm not really using it anymore because I'm I'm using M.2 NVMEs now. I really don't care about two and a half inch SSDs. These are things I don't really use that much in. I'm going to use it in this capacity as an extra storage device. So let's test this out. So this is H drive. Let's see how fast this is. See what this, how fast this enclosure is. About 454 megabytes per second for the read. When I connect it to a SATA 3 port on, on in my computer, I get about maybe 500, 530 to 550 megabytes. But SATA, um, I mean, USB 3 is definitely slower than SATA 3, so... These are the numbers that you would normally get. So about read is 454 megabytes per second and write is 449 megabytes per second. Okay, this is not too bad. I could definitely use this as a computer. And I do basically. I have a number of these um, Sabrent enclosures or docking stations on different computers. And uh, the way I have mine, mine set up is I have it set up on top of uh, my computer, basically. As you can see on that picture, just like that. And uh, I like this type of enclosure better because, um, because of the fact that it's more stationary. Instead of having those flimsy, um, small, like, uh, two and a half inch enclosures and stuff like that. Those are kind of like small. And, um, it doesn't look very nice on, on a desk. On a desk, this enclosure, the Sabrin enclosure looks pretty, 
est it's aesthetically pleasing in other words so if you have any thoughts you could leave it in a comment section below and if you would like to know where you can find your enclosure like this uh, i will leave it in the video descriptions below and thanks for watching